Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing a very interesting topic that is uh, about interest. So, uh, we, we would have uh, come across uh, this particular word interest. So, and most of them may not be knowing what is the percentage calculations they are charging. For example, if you go to any bank uh, and if you are taking a loan, so they give, uh, you know, like certain types of uh, uh, you know like the interest uh, it may be a simple interest or a compound interest accordingly we have to pay whatever uh, the interest amount or interest percentage whatever they are telling but uh, uh, this interest simple interest and compound interest it can be uh, defined for the different uh, uh, you know like uh, conditions maybe for the present condition present worth even for the future future condition if you fix a deposit or if you have taken any EMI so based on the different conditions uh, this uh, uh, interest uh, will vary. So what and all we will be discussing in this uh, particular video is uh, we will be discussing about uh, cash flow and cash flow diagrams, uh, time value of money, inflation and purchasing power and interest, the very interesting topic that is simple and compound interest we will be discussing, interest formulas we will be discussing and economic equivalence that also we will be discussing. First of all, what is this cash flow? Cash flow refers to the money either entering or leaving a project or business during a specific period of time. When analyzing the economic feasibility of a project or design, you will compare its cash flow with the cash flow of other alternatives. And this particular table shows the cash flow for a simple six month project. So the project starts on January 1 with a small initial investment and receives income in two installments. So January 1 uh, where the amount has been uh, uh, given from our side. So that is why it is uh, minus 1500 in March 31st where we received money. So that is why it is plus 3000 and again June 30 we received some money that is why it is plus 3000. You can able to see this a cash flow diagram how to draw. Uh, here you can able to see this the duration starting from January. So this is uh, this is January where I have spent 1500 from my packet. So spend that is why cash flow it is downwards and this is February, um, I mean January, February, March, April, May, June you can able to see this. So January month where I paid 1500 rupees and in the month of uh, March and June I got the return payment of 3000. So it is a return payment I am getting as a benefit. So that is why the arrow mark in the upper direction. So a cash flow diagram shows a visual representation of a cash flow, recipients and disbursements. For instance, uh, this cash flow diagram for the cash flow described in the table on the previous slide. So the horizontal axis represents time. It is divided into equal periods, days, months, years, etc. based on our uh, uh, like applications or example what we do and the stretches for the duration of the project also. And the cash inflows that is income and withdrawals are represented by the upward pointing arrows and cash outflows that is expenses, deposits are represented by the downward pointing arrows. Cash flows that occur within a time period both inflows and outflows are added together and represented with a single arrow at the end of the period. When space allows, that is the arrow lines are drawn proportional to the magnitude of the cash flow, initial investments are shown at time 0. And here you can able to see the perception of the cash flow diagram where the cash flow diagrams are always from some perceptive. A transfer of money will be an inflow or outflow depending on your perceptive. Consider a borrower uh, that takes out a loan of uh, $5,000 at 6% interest. So from the borrower's perspective, the amount borrowed is an inflow. From the lender's perspective, it is an outflow. For the same money only, both from the borrower perspective and the lender's perspective, the cash flow diagram is shown here. And let me take another example. A lawn mower will cost $600. Maintenance costs are expected to be $180 per year. So income from the mower loss is expected to be $700 a year. So the salvage value after 3 years is expected to be $175. You can able to see here. 600 is my investment. And every year I will be getting a benefit of $720 for 3 years. And the salvage also 170 years, which is nothing but uh, the scrap amount after 3 years, whatever, uh, uh, you know, like uh, for the scrap, if I put means whatever money I will be getting that one. And similarly, every year I will be getting the, uh, you know, like uh, uh, maintenance charge of $180, that also year. Sir, this is including both income and uh, uh, you know, like uh, uh, whatever the money I am spending for the maintenance and this is uh, totally like excluding, uh, I mean uh, subtracting this one, the final value money is uh, has been put. Then, 
टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी द हंड्रेड डॉलर रिसीव टूडे इज वर्थ मोर देन हंड्रेड डॉलर रिसीव वन इयर फ्रॉम नाउ इफ यू डोंट बिलीव दिस गिव मी हंड्रेड डॉलर आई विल ग्लैडली गिव यू बैक हंड्रेड डॉलर इन वन इयर दैट वुड बी ए बैड डील फॉर यू बिकॉज आई कुड इन्वेस्ट द मनी एंड गिव द इंटरेस्ट अर्न ऑन यूर मनी इफ देर वॉज इन्फ्लेशन इन द इकोनॉमी ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट one uh, first time uh, first time i was holding on to your money the purchasing power of 100 dollar i give back I, i'll be give with less than um, 100 dollar you gave me so there is a risk i won't return the money for all these reasons when discussing cash flows over time you have to take into account the time value of money now coming to the the important topic that is interest because of the time value of money whenever money is loaned the lender expect to get back the money loaned plus interest interest is the price paid for the use of borrowed money as with many financial transaction interest is either something you have to pay that is disbursement or something you have to you have earned that is a receipt depending on the uh, whether you are doing the borrowing or the lending interest earned or paid is a certain percentage of the amount loaned or borrowed and what is simple interest with simple interest the interest accrues only on the principal amount invested example what is the value of 100 dollar after 3 years when invested at a simple interest rate of 10% per year means you can able to see 100 dollar into 10% so 10 dollar for the 3 years it is 30 dollar only so totally it is 130 dollar only but what is compound interest with compound interest interest is earned on interest that is what is the value of 100 dollar after 3 years when invested at a compound which is 10% per year means you can able to see this first year it is 100 uh, like 10 dollar second year when i consider including this uh, first year interest again i will be calculating the 10% for the total money so totally i will be getting 33 dollar compared to the simple interest the compound interest uh, money is more and what is the compound interest formula so general compound interest formula is capital f is equal to capital p into 1 plus small i power n so f is nothing but the future value that is how much uh, uh, the present value will be worth in the future and capital p is the present value the money invested today a small i is the interest rate and capital n is the number of interest we get so the standard symbol for the above formula is symbol we have to use that is f is equal to p of f by p uh, comma i comma n and the interest factor p to f notice that the compound interest formula capital f is equal to p into 1 plus i power n includes the factor 1 plus i power n present value p how much money you have today multiply this factor means future value capital f how much you will have in the future for example if the interest rate is 6 percentage and the number of periods is 4 the interest factor is 1 plus 0.06 power 4 that is 1.4185 Since so, the future value of five hundred dollar when invested at six percent interest for four years is five hundred dollars into one point four one eight five, which is nothing but seven hundred nine point two six dollars. So the future value of nine hundred dollars when invested at six percent interest for four years is nine hundred dollars into one point four one eight five, which is nothing but one thousand two hundred seventy six point six five dollars. And uh, uh, interest factor capital F to P. Solving for P in the compound interest formula needs the formula for uh, going the other direction, converting future value of capital F to present value P. So F formula is this one, P formula is this one. So for example, you make a bet with someone, the outcome of which won't be no for four years. If you lose, you owe five hundred dollars. How much do you need to set aside today to cover your five hundred dollar bet, assuming the prevailing interest rate is six percent? So by substituting this formula, all the data is given here. We can able to find out what is the money. This is how we need to. So in the next video, we will just check it out how to solve the problems.